Good afternoon. I hope that you're doing well today, and I thank you for tuning in again to our, I think it's our fifth community reopening update. Last week, I indicated to you that I would be submitting our school reopening plan to two of our state agencies, the Department of Health last Friday and the State Education Department this Friday. The plan was submitted on time to both agencies and is now available on our school website for your review as well. Just go to our website at www.ahns.org and you'll find a link to the plan on the homepage. By the time you see this video, the governor may have already made his formal announcement regarding the reopening of schools in New York State. So please know that as with all things COVID related, plans are subject to change based on current state guidelines or on scientific evidence as well. But here again are some of the highlights of our plan that we submitted for state review. We will welcome students back to school on schedule with a hybrid model for instruction. We will offer parents the option of in-person learning in school or remote learning at home for their daughters. We will provide instruction to students who are on site and students who are at home at the same time. We will offer those extracurricular activities that can be accessed and effectively carried out whether we are in hybrid mode or remote learning mode. We will follow the guidance of the governor and of the New York State Public High School Athletic Association regarding interscholastic sports for the fall sports season. We will be mindful of the social and emotional well being of students and staff and will provide opportunities for training, for relationship building, and for ongoing support. We will maintain a safe and healthy environment following the guidelines from the CDC, the New York State Department of Health, and the New York State Education Department. We will require daily pre-arrival screening of students, staff, and visitors for fever and symptoms. We will require face coverings and physical distancing for all persons on campus. We will follow a strict stay home when sick policy and an equally stringent return to school policy. I invite you to read the full detailed plan by following the link provided here in the weekly watch or by accessing it through the link on our web homepage. I also invite our school families to join me and other members of our reopening task force for a question and answer session next week via Zoom. There will be three evening sessions next week on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. The times and dates of these sessions are listed here in the weekly watch, and I will send the link to our families via email. You know, journalists are fond of characterizing these times in single words like unprecedented times, uncertain times, unpredictable times. But the truth is, no single word can begin to capture the emotional havoc that this pandemic is wreaking on us. As parents consider whether or not to send their children back to school, and teachers consider whether or not to return to work, they feel the full emotional weight of these decisions, concerned about how their choices impact their obligations, not only to themselves, of course, but to their families and to everyone else. It feels as if God is asking an awful lot of us. As I said to the faculty and staff this week, really all we can do, all that any of us can do is our best. But you know what? The track record of our Holy Names community shows that our best is indeed very good. No, actually, it's extraordinarily good. And that knowledge brings me, and I hope you, great peace. And so, until next week. <laughs>